I may not be able to do this, but I'm going to try. I'm going to show off all our hounds. Well, it's not all of them. I have one little red girl at my house named Lucy. But, uh, no, you have done, babe. Uh, let me see if I can tell you who they are. First, this is Tobias. And Tobias came to us at the age of six months old. He'd always lived in a barn without much human contact. Other pups in that litter got rescued, but uh, he and his brother, Vern, have not been. Uh, they kind of have the run of the shelter, but I made them come in here today for the video. Vern's eyes been a little bit damaged because of a few incidents he's had with dogs. It wasn't his fault. It just, he was loose and the dog would go after him and he's the one that got hurt. They are both good dogs. They're just very shy of a leash and people. They just kind of run to and from and do whatever they want to and they think life is okay. So all they really need is a big old yard or farm and a building and food. And they'll be totally happy. This pretty girl is Four Roses. She came in with Heaven Hill, and that's who she shares a kennel with. That's Heaven Hill out there running with those boys. She came in with Jim Pink. Jim was really, really, really skinny when he came in, but he's starting to look better. This is Jack Daniels. He's a black and tan coon hound. You can see on his uh, head that uh, he had some scrapes. We don't know what they were, but they're getting better. Those two haven't been neutered yet. Um, because of that, uh, I think I think Jack is ready to go. Jim probably still needs to put on a little more weight. These four dogs, four roses, Jack Daniels, Jim Bean, and Heaven Hill we all left tied out at the stockyards, and we assume someone was trying to sell them or give them away, and they got left behind in the 100-degree weather, just tied out until somebody called Animal Control to come get them. Isn't that right? You're a pretty boy. Okay. Now, Mr. Higgs has been with us for a long, long time. He is the best dog. He's very friendly, very sweet. He was real skinny when he first came in, but he has uh, picked up weight. He still likes his food, but he's a good, good boy, and he deserves a chance. He, he just gets along with everybody. He's just a really, really, really nice dog. And then... Way up there we have Boomer. Boomer's not really one of the coon hounds, but he's a hound. And he's not going to come and talk to me. He's busy. That's This is Heaven Hill. I think she's so sweet. Uh, when these four dogs came in, we thought, mm, we're pretty full, and they're in pretty bad condition, and we weren't sure what we were going to do. But then we met Heaven Hill, and she probably convinced all of us. But she was the greatest little dog, and big dog, and she needed to find her home. Isn't that right? And we love you, too. We love all of you, don't we? We love all of you. But Heaven Hill, I think it's my favorite of the four. Okay, so these are our coons. Coon hounds. Their mama was feral. And she had several litters because no one could catch her to... Fair. But they're nice boys. They're funny boys. We just love them. But we sure would like to get them out of here. We just don't know how it's going to happen, do we, Jim? You tell them. You tell them all about it, because Lord knows they've heard enough from me. Okay. There goes Boomer. No, Boomer's playing. Boomer loves to play. He and Saki were best friends, and I guess he misses his Saki to play with. But he'll play with anybody. He had some hair loss when he came in, but that's all grown in. He's a pretty boy. He's a nice boy. But he likes to open gates and escape. He's an escape artist, but he doesn't go anywhere. He doesn't go anywhere. He just likes to try. His so if you see a dog here that doesn't deserve a home, you can tell me. But I think they all do. Even these two big boys. These two big boys who are my favorite. Yes. <laughs> They're so funny. They are so funny. 
Yes, you are.